What started out as a candle store has turned into all things Amish. Pam the Lines got the idea for the Amish country store and restaurant after stopping in a little bakery off the beaten path. And bought some stuff and brought it back down here and put it in my candle store and it sold like crazy. And I told my daughter, I said, I'm gonna put it in a little Amish store. So I did. <laughs> Everything here is all authentic Amish. Pam makes two to three trips out to the community to pick up the goods to sell. She also gets shipments from other Amish communities. Everything that we have in the store is made from the Amish people locally or from Ohio. All the food is made from scratch. Biscuits, cinnamon rolls, I mean everything, right down to the gravy. And James Reed has probably tried everything on the menu. He comes in every day. Breakfast or lunch? Uh, just depends on what time I come through. <laughs> Chicken and dumplings are his favorite. It's made fresh daily. He says a good place to start is with the roast beef or chicken fried steak. Those are best sellers. Well, there's homemade uh, beef stew, which would be good. And then, uh, and then uh, roast beef dinner is good. And, uh, I hear the chicken fried steak. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah. I had the chicken fried steak. How was it? It was great. I hear it's yeah. one of the best. That's right. Good food. and. You don't go away hungry. On this side of the building, there are all sorts of Amish goodies you can take home with you. These are jams and jellies here and right over here, locally harvested honey. I, I personally am not into the preservatives and I, I love the fact that they're more natural. DJ Goff likes to cook and stays stocked up on her must-haves. I love their, um, they have like a chicken base and a beef base. I cannot live without it. Their butter is absolutely amazing, zero carbs. It is absolutely wonderful. From Amish cheese, candy, and cider, to 30 types of fudge made in-house, the shelves are filled with treats you won't easily find anywhere else, like cashew brittle made by an Amish grandmother. It, it is really good, you can't find it anywhere else and we sell a ton of it, we really do. Pam also sells a ton of pies made by the Amish families. Strawberry rhubarb is their specialty. That is something that the Amish people strictly make. I couldn't even get the filling for it. They make it from scratch. One of Pam's personal dessert creations, fried pies. I had one of their fried pies, peach fried pies. Those are famous. They are. I've had them. They are absolutely amazingly delicious. These things are about this big and they're not near as good bike. You know, you have to have that grease in there to make them good. <laughs> they're so good, you've got to get them early in the day if you want one. We probably make 7,500 a day and sell out by two or three o'clock. They're worth every calorie, and every time you take a bite, it just melts in your mouth. The magic about discovering Oklahoma is that sometimes you never know what's down the road. In Pam's case, it turned out to be an Amish family running a little bakery, who she's been in business with now for many years. I've watched their, their children grow up and have their kids, and you know, you just think of them like their family because we've been involved with them so long. They are hardworking people, and uh, it's been a blessing to have them in my life, really. In Muskogee, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.